Julian, how long have you been at the university? It's about five and a half years now I've been here in this department. And what are your areas of research? My research by sort of background is on semiconductor devices and semiconductor physics. So I've been at the university for about eight years. I came initially as a postdoctoral researcher and then I became a lecturer. So Ian, why would someone choose to come and study electrical engineering at Liverpool? There are lots of reasons um, that, that Liverpool provide. One of the main ones I think is how we've embedded employability skills right throughout our degree programmes. Right from the first year they, they have um, in, inputs from industrial settings. Projects are set up to run as if they were in industry. We've had um, someone working on a new um, cable sensing system for Jaguar Land Rover. We've had people working with um, some of the hospitals nearby on some medical interventions. We've had people working on some robotic advances with Unilever. Are there any particular alumni that people might recognise that come from Liverpool? Probably the most famous um, alumni we have from Liverpool is um, Sir Robin Saxby. So he, when he graduated, he went on to set up um, our microprocessors. They design microprocessor chips. They design about 99% of the microprocessor chips used in the world. If you have a laptop, if you have a mobile phone in your pocket, they were probably designed by ARM. So, so we have a very integrated partnership with ARM. It sort of flourished, obviously, from Sir Robin's uh, initial origins here. So. Obviously we have lots of students working on projects every year, but what are some of your favourites? The favourite ones that I have are the ones that are interactive. For example, we have a big sandbox. Now that might just sound like a bit of fun if you get to play in a sandbox. However, it uses um, a camera to measure the distance between the sand and the camera, and it can map different colours onto that sand. We used it for a moon landing event where we had the surface of the moon that the kids could move around the sand to make different craters on the moon. The other kind of projects that I think are really interesting are things for medical interventions. So for example, we have the sign language glove where you have a glove that fits on your hand and as you move it to make different sign languages, it translates that into sound so that somebody who doesn't know sign language could still communicate with someone who's deaf. There's a development called Sensor City. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yes, yeah, so, so Sensor City is a joint innovation between um, ourselves uh, at University of Liverpool, John Moore's University, and the Liverpool City region. And its, it's driving purpose is to create a global hub here in Liverpool for sensor-based technologies. Obviously, you can say it was set up by the university, it was actually set up by, the, by this department, it was, it was a, sort of a founding force in that. So that those small companies, the, there might only be three or four people in the company. So again, again they're, they're often looking to our students to give them project ideas for second year or third year projects. Lots of them will offer placements down there so students can go and spend sort of uh, a few weeks or a few months over the summer working for a company, get some industrial interaction, say using some world leading tools that are there. Um, and also we have our, our, our robotics encoding club now. So our, our student sort of club on, on developing robotic platforms are actually based down there themselves now. So, so they've transferred their presence down there. We have quite a diverse international background of students here. How, how do you think that benefits students? So uh, I think diversity benefits all walks of life and I think our students get a really good experience when they come to Liverpool because they meet lots of people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different religions, different belief systems um, and they all learn to accept one another and work alongside each other. They understand that different backgrounds can have a really interest and effect when it comes to projects. Not everybody has to think the same, not everybody has to do the same things. It's those mix of um, people that make sure that we are still at the cutting edge of technology, both for our research, but also for our undergraduates. It means they think differently compared to some students who may only be exposed to people like themselves. What actually drew you to Liverpool then? What drew me to Liverpool was the city itself, actually. It's completely different to what I originally thought it would be. It's a small city, so you can get across it quite quickly, but it's also got lots of fun things to do. It's, it's got good nightlife, but it's also got good activities you can do through the day. 
um, and then the university itself is a really friendly environment so it makes you want to come to work every day. What about you Ian? What made you come to Liverpool? Quite similar things as you say, I mean it's a small city but there's so much in the city. You say the famous sporting events that are always happening here, the, the, the big nightlife events that happen here, the historic buildings, the, the events on the river, there's so much always happening. It's, it's a city with a real buzz and it's, it's a city and a, and a university that's very open and very welcoming. And I also think it's one that's constantly innovating and reinventing itself. What do you feel is sort of the key message for electrical engineering in, in the future? Electrical engineering for me spans from everything from national infrastructure, so power lines, power cables, to the smallest things, so nanoelectronics and nanoparticles. So in that, there is something for everyone. So even if you're not interested in one thing, you might be interested in something else. It's all about creativity. So if you're a creative person or you are interested in theory, there is something for everyone within that. What about you, Ian? I think quite similar. It's that electrical engineering is so much broader than just playing with circuits. It embeds every part of our lives whether that's watching YouTube videos on your phone of cats, or whether it's um, aiding doctors to make better medical judgments and interventions using big data. It, sort of, it, it embeds everything.